Hello, I'm Sid Zacharias with Zacharias Horsemanship. Today I want to talk to you about improving your side pass. So the first thing I want to talk about is make sure before we go into the side pass that you can move your horse's hindquarters and isolate it. So I'm going to put my right leg back there and I want that his right hip to step under. Notice how my reins are not engaged and that horse is stepping under pretty nice. Okay, like that. I'll do it one more time, step over and have that hip swing over real free. If I can't move the hip over like that, it's gonna be really hard to improve your side pass. So on a younger horse, I might go ahead and ask them to move over just two or three steps at a side pass. Stop, engage his hip underneath, stop, and then I'll side pass again. So I'm kind of breaking it down. Stop, engage his hip, take a little break right there. And I always wanna stop when I engage his hip over. Okay, and that's gonna improve his try and also that muscle memory. So I want him thinking the last thing I do every time is go ahead and reach a little stronger with my hip. Okay, that's gonna help your side pass dramatically. Because again, number one problem is on side passes is a lag in the hindquarters. So if you can get this hindquarters to step up first, then side pass, and then stop or end with a strong side pass or a strong hip yield, that's gonna really help your side pass. I hope you enjoyed today's tip. Thank you.